We'll come to the next part of my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. In this part, we're going to try and get to whatever we can get to in this part. Uh, yeah, that's cool, Ricky. Right. Now this area, you just swim in it. There's really nothing here at all, except that one deep dive part, but we're not going to go into that. Gonna get, uh, let's see if we can get to Pacific Grog. How long it will take us? Oh, wait, let's have a battle. Funny how that guy has a Sharpedo, but Aqua Grunts with that exact same level have Carvanches. Or however you say that Pokemon name that I don't know how to pronounce. I think we're close to Pacific Grog Town, and that's not the way we're supposed to go, I don't think. Ooh, a double battle. As far as my repel is still going. And it wore off. Yeah, I pretty much stocked up on a ton of items before I came because we're about to get into one of the most intense parts of the game. Come on, where are all the trainers? There we go. That one took a little longer than I thought it would. And there's another one. I'll just cut this one out. Hmm. Let me guess. There's another one. No, but that's a single battle. Super Pelipper hanging on by 1 HP. Jeez, it ticked me off. All right. Now we're in Pacific Log Town. And there is one thing about this house, this house right here, why it is so famous. This guy, that'd be so awesome if he actually said, I can see Mirage Island. There is like, I think the chance is higher than a shiny poke, than finding a shiny Pokemon. But that island also has his wild why not, so who really cares about that. I'm gonna go heal. Alright, now what was the point of coming here? Absolutely nothing. I just wanted to come to this town so I can make my life easier later. Let's fly back to Moss Deep City. Yeah, I know. That was kind of pointless going to that town. But we'll have to go there soon anyway. Funny how that town is like the only town in Pokemon history that you can actually avoid completely. Never having to go there. There's probably some other city that I don't even care to remember about. But, eh, whatever. Well, I think you just gotta follow this dive path. And then, nope, I guess I followed the wrong dive path. I think you go... Dive right here. Whoa, don't battle the dude, though. Well, I got it dead on. Then, uh-oh. Now we go up. Now let's go. Ha <laughs> ha that is so mean. I'll be right back with my You're being stupid and not bringing my HM slave, or whatever you call it. We can now finally actually move on in this place. Every single aqua grunt in this place is optional, unlike Team Magma's place where they were, like, none of them were optional. I'm just going to try and avoid all of them as, as possible. Good. 
And you're just supposed to go in this one, then it doesn't really matter which door you go into, but I'm gonna go into the left door. Because it is the easiest one to access. Yes, I think I got it. Yes, I did. And then you can either go through this hard strength puzzle. Well, it's not really that hard. Or fight a double battle between two team option events. Which I prefer this one. Haha, I actually did it. Dang it. That would have been much cooler. Oh gosh. This is where I'm going to cut it. Right, if I didn't cut it, then I actually can do this in one try. Let me see if I can do this. Hey, I did it! Sweet! You're actually kind of surprised at that. Now you get TM26 Earthquake. Probably one of the best TMs in existence. We're going to use it. Oh, I've always thought Looney Cole could learn that. Wow. Maybe I'll just teach it to step tile. Can you learn it? Well, duh, you can learn it. And let's get rid of Absorb. I don't really care. I was hoping it would learn Mega Drain, but it never did. Oh my goodness, it's Kai Ogre. What are we gonna do? Let's go up to him. Oh my gosh, it's Archie. Well, who else would it be? The gingerbread man? I highly doubt he would know how to come down here. And now, we fight Archie. I think this is your only time you actually even get to fight Archie. All the other times are just you fighting Maxi. Dang it. I thought he opened up with like a Zubat or a Golbat. I don't know. I'm gonna guess Swagger? Is it gonna use Swagger? No scary face. But then after it does that, it can attack first and then it will use Swagger. Can only bet five trillion dollars on that. Oh yeah, I forgot to know. Yep, I was right. Time to hit myself with cross chop. I knew it would do that. I mean, these things are kind of predictable. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I already snapped out. I would have been so mad if that move missed. Because my accuracy with this move is not very lucky. Crobat. Mm, I hate Crobat. And obviously we know his last Pokemon is... Yes! Love it when it does that! Makes me so happy, and I messed up the camera. The time that's happened in like two trillion years. And this last book on is Sharpedo. So let's just use Dark Light then. What level is this? Oh. 
I, since when was I confused? Okay, where have I been this whole time thinking I was confused? I don't think I forgot what Tawny even does. Oh, I actually got it in one turn. <laughs> oh, dang it. Can use that level up. You just lost, Archie. Uh oh. It's not good. Using red on the blue one. That is not very good. Way to go, Archie. He just ruined the entire world. It's all quiet. So then he just hangs up. Oh, we're in dire situation. And then he just hangs up. It's funny how in game they've never realized that they got the wrong arms. <laughs> Why yes you did? At least Archie and Maxi realized that what they were doing this whole time was stupid, unlike Team Rocket, Team Galactic. And of course, Steam Plasma. And then, Steven just flies into the spot on like what we can't do. We can't even do that. What do you mean by reckless? Do you mean like fall into the sea or something? It's not a time for this! No! No time for your ranting about your Pokemon. Alright, in the next part we will head to Sweetopolis. Bye.